I'm Madeline Harvey, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're going to be talking about the one exercise that you need to warm up. Now, I understand that's a super loaded statement, but if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. Okay, so voice and warming up are really, really, really important. It's important to be able to guide your voice into the conditions that it can expect when you sing. Now, that's really loaded because warm-ups can be catered to specific goals for your voice as well as the ways that you expect to be able to move your voice. But this video is for singers that are not accustomed to warming up before they sing or just don't quite know what to do to warm up the voice before they sing or have a limited limited amount of time to warm up. So it's my hope that today's video will give you the insight that you need and allow you to be able to warm up your voice before you sing. So when we're looking at voice, we've got two sides of the coin. One is strength and the other is flexibility. Now the common denominator between the two is time. Strength tends to move slow, right? Speed and flexibility is quick. It's very fast. So we've got to be able to vary our time in our warm-up to get the maximum amount of effect and benefit from the warm-up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to slide. We're going to jump, and then we're going to slide. So when you're warming up your voice, you want to be able to make sure that you pay attention to the activation of the diaphragm. I'm bringing this up so that you can leverage and coax more from these specifics. We want to be able to let the breath carry the primary source of responsibility for the voice. Everything that we do today is going to be generated from the center of the body. Then secondly, we want to be able to teach the cords to both filter the air consistently, giving us our strength, but be able to adapt in a very quick moment's notice, giving us our flexibility. And at the same time, generate pretty tone because we want to sound pretty while we do it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump going up. We're gonna jump going up. This is going to alleviate any gripping that happens at the throat because that movement is just too fast for those muscles to try to grab a hold. But keep that in mind that that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna feel like we go from chest voice to head voice. Okay, so go ahead and allow for that for that feeling to happen. Then we're gonna slowly slide down. There's our strength component. Another word is control. We wanna be able to keep the muscles investigating the in-between sensation. So as we slide, the muscles that govern the voice are investigating in between those coordinations. They're always working it out, working it out as they slide down. So it's really important not to jump over any part of the voice. Slide nice and slow. We're going to expose any gaps in coordination, but let those be. That way those muscles can figure it out and iron it out for you. So you can use whatever vowel sound fits your fancy. I really enjoy who. So I'm going to be using that, but you can, you can modify your own vowel sound for your liking. So here we go. We're going to go Ooh, chest voice. Ooh, now this is going to take an obscene amount of air. Stay committed. Stay concentrated. Let's do it together. Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
concentrate, I'm trying really hard to concentrate. Here we go. That, that that jump is happening from the center of the body. to drop out but let's take it down
get a little challenging as we really start to lean into that chest voice because we are coming into the chest voice at the end of our phrase. So this was kind of like a, a set you up a little bit for this difficulty because we're coming at the end of the phrase and the lower notes actually require the most air. But I tricked you, I tricked you on purpose because I want to keep your diaphragm in, um, investigated, investigated, committed, committed to what it's doing. So keep the energy up, keep it consistent, keep breathing. Here we go, let's try that one again. You should be ready, ready to sing now. Breath is activated, really should be. Vocal cords are both strong and flexible at the same time, and we chose a vowel, a vowel that would generate some nice, open, rounded tone for you. So those are the conditions that you wanna consider when you're creating a warm-up for yourself. You don't have to get all fancy pants about a warm-up. Slides will definitely do, and please feel free to refer to this video as often as you need to or if you want to include it in your warm your warm up workout daily i would be happy i would be happy to hang out with you thank you so much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please feel free to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below i would love to see you here more often thank you so much for hanging out with me i love you guys and i will see you next time bye